Most butterfly enthusiasts out there, have you ever wondered how to save the butterflies, or rather caterpillars, from their enemies? Well, we're going to look at that in this episode. This is Reba Cummings, Master Gardener and Butterfly Enthusiast, and she has a unique way of rescuing butterflies, and she's going to show us in a little bit how they do this. Plant a nectar plant for the guff fritillary caterpillar. We've collected, I do not know how many of the guff fritillary caterpillars. It's the most plant. And do they eat the bloom or the... They will eat the bud. And I see right now, this is a bud. I was trying to find one where they have eaten on it. But here is a, a baby fritillary. And sometimes they eat right into the bud. They eat the leaves like crazy. So this is what you would call a host plant? A host plant for a host plant would be one where the chrysalid would attach itself. But on this, um, I have found chrysalids on the uh, vine as well as from the caterpillar. The butterflies themselves will just use this vine to lay an egg. Oh, okay. And then the egg develops into the caterpillar. The butterfly you see here is called the swallowtail, and as Reba will explain, it likes a different type of plant than does the fritillary. We had bronze fennel, which we gathered these caterpillars from. But we harvested all the bronze fennel and we started having to buy parsley for it. They love the bronze fennel. What Reba has done to rescue these caterpillars, she stores them in a netting made out of PVC pipe and tool or type of fabric. The butterfly chrysalids attach themselves to anything really in this netting area, including the PVC pipe as you can see here. Finally, we're to the fun part, the release of the butterflies. 